Hello guys, this is Misfit from the Core Guys, back with some more Factorio. So, today... Today, what are we doing? Um... Well, I'll go over some of the changes that I've made. Uh, this copper mine that was sitting here has finally, finally been mined out, and I was able to expand our advanced circuit production to the 8 that I want. Um, I might have to expand this further later. Uh, because these things take a while to make. I mean, 8 seconds, and this is at 0.75% or whatever of crafting speed. So, that's 3 quarter, divided by about 12 seconds or something. Um, 11 or 12 seconds to actually craft. So, the copper that we're mining is completely gone out. We're now being solely fed off of these chests. Uh, we've only used up a few so far. Some of them didn't actually fill because I forgot to flip the inserters the right way around. But we've got tons of copper here just waiting to be smelted. Um, so that's all good. Uh, something else I've done over here, way back at the oil processing facility, is I added some more chemical plants, uh, which you'll see here. Um, because I realized I had my ratios off. Uh, three chemical plants each is not going to cut it, mainly because every five seconds, um, 4.5 light oil is made and one heavy oil is made, um, 4.5 for each station, so that's 13.5 light oil and three heavy oil, <coughs> and also in five seconds, four heavy oil is turned into three light oil. So in order to match the input, I'd actually need to take out one of these. Um, I already took took one out, I might need to take out another one, I'm not too sure. I don't have a lot of use for heavy oil yet, I might do in the future. Um, but considering we're making about 13.5 uh, light oil per every 5 seconds, we need to basically turn all of that into petroleum gas. So, um, let's see. Three, each so every five seconds it turns three of these into two of these, and so that's seven chemical plants here. <coughs> Pardon me. So that would be twenty-one light oil. So it's more than I need. Um, I'm just experimenting with this new <coughs> this new layout to see how it works. I'm not sure how I came up with the number seven actually. I, d I, I did it a while ago and I can't remember exactly why. Um, Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one, quarter point five. Might be to include the output of this, which I didn't need probably. Oh well. Um, I'll tinker with it some more later. Probably take a couple of it out from each side, um, because the way it's running. Well, the reason I did it in the first place is that when I was when I had a few things running back in the, in the production. The refineries could not keep up with the petroleum gas. There wasn't a lot of gas in the tanks, and uh, the refineries and the three chemical plants couldn't keep up. So I had to increase the production of petroleum gas, essentially. And now we're completely full, it's all buffered up. Should last us quite a while. Um, same with the light oil. But one side effect I've noticed of this little setup is that our heavy oil is uh, severely depleted. I might actually have to just shut these two off and let that rebuild up because uh, the advanced oil recipe does not create a lot of heavy oil which is intended but not beneficial all the time oh and those two have run out a little iron mine here is starting to deplete in places so we might have to secure another source of iron pretty soon so anyway back on to what we were going to do today let's hop on a rail or a conveyor belt in order to get where we want to go <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what we're going to do today is, if you haven't already noticed on the map, I have added quite a few things onto the end of our production line here. Like I've done before, I just haven't hooked them up. I was waiting for you guys to show you what I did. Ah, so here we are. From where I'm standing to the right is all brand new and not even hooked up yet, so we're going to see a massive surge in production, and drains on resources, and everything. So, oh, and before we do anything, let's get some research done, and we're going to research alien technology.
because I want to access those final research packs and get this thing producing them so that nothing can stand in our way of research. So, what are we going to be making here? Well, we're going to have transport belts and metal gear wheels, and they can be combined to make fast transport belts. It's finally time we upgraded to these things. Pardon me. Because the old belts are actually becoming a problem in some places. Uh, I'll explain that in a little while. Um, but yeah, we're now we're going to upgrade to the fast transport belts, and all of the yellow belts that you see here will be red at some point in the future. Um, and instead of adding this to the the line, I've basically taken the the old ones off and replacing it with the newer one because. Now that we've, got, we're auto, we've more automated the newer, the fast transport belts, I'm never going to need these again. They're already being used in the research and things, so other than that, no, don't need them. So, they're being replaced. The same thing goes for the underground transport belts, which is what this one is for, and let's just hook it up, which is just the standard underground belts and Metal Gear wheels. Now, this is going to take a while to make each one because they require 20 iron gear wheels each. Um, and even with those two inserters feeling it, it's not quite keeping up. Um, I wonder if I could... If there's any way I could get a third inserter there, that would help speed things up. Well, that makes two at a time. Ah, that's fine. I don't need a lot of really, really fast production for that because I'll be along to pick up, like, what? hundred and then I wouldn't need them again for a long time. And we'll also need the last component which is the fast splitters which is going to increase things a lot more. So how many... Uh, oh, 10 iron gear wheels but it also needs 10 circuits. Oh. Okay. I didn't see that when I was setting this up. Um, because I've got basically... <laughs> hmm. I wonder if it's worth my while doing this. Just trying to speed this up a bit. Yeah, that seems a bit faster. Mainly because like the the blue ones are the fastest sorters overall. The red ones are quicker than the standard ones, but not as quick as the blue ones. So, <coughs> I think basically, you you want to be feeding with blue ones as much as you can. Um. Okay, so that's producing. So we've got, we're now automated our brand new shiny red belts. Um, so we're, over time they're going to build up. I might put a chest at the end of the production line uh, in order to buffer these things up so that I can get to replacing all of this yellow stuff with red stuff, which would be great. What I've also got set up here is the beginnings of something we've done before, and that is solar panels. So we're going to we're going to need to upgrade our our power situation. I mean we're 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 good for now. Um but if I want to put more laser turrets on the wall or if I want to expand or do a lot more stuff, I will need to generate more power. Um so having a whole bunch of solar panels at the ready will be fantabulous. Uh I left that there. Do I want them on the production line or do I want them in the chest? I don't really want them on the line. Um, let's let's just put a chest here uh, and have an auto save. Um, because I'm never gonna never gonna need these in small numbers, and they're not needed to craft anything else. So let's just put that there, and we'll stop it about there. So that will be 500 solar panels. So yep, that would be great. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing a bit, and my voice is a bit weird, mainly because of uh, woken up not too long ago. Um, and what I was going to do is add the accumulators in. However, as you can tell, we've run into the wall. Uh, we are actually completely out of space here. The entire production line has been moved up and we're smack into the wall again. But that doesn't mean that we can do, not do, still do some more. 
automated production and so on so what can we do here what are we going to be making here well it's something which is very important it requires electronic circuits and advanced circuits and interestingly it requires sulfuric acid and what this thing is is processing units these are basically the highest tier of electronic circuits you can get and they require advanced circuits and sulfuric acid and they actually require uh, yeah, let me pop this down and show you this for assemblers actually have uh, a port in them for pumping in liquids there's only a couple of recipes that actually utilize it um, but uh, so uh, this is one of them, so fear acid. Another one is anything that involves lubricant, pretty much. No jokes, please. So, um, if you place it down, you have to select a recipe first before this little pipe. You know, let me turn off Alt so you can actually see it. So, before that little pipe shows up, you have to actually have a recipe selected. Um, and you can just rotate it around with R. In case you didn't know. Um, so, let's just get all of these running. Now, this is a test, a really severe one. This is going to put our production and resource gathering to the limit because of these things. But you're wondering why. I was like, why are these so expensive? You know, these ones weren't so bad, the green ones are okay. Why is this one so bad? I'll show you why. I will show you why. Because each one of these takes 5, 0.5 sulfuric acid, 2 advanced circuits, which are fine, and 20 electronic circuits every 15 seconds. 20 electronic circuits. It's not like the iron gear wheels where they're just to be manufactured one through one thing. That's like a lot of resources. In fact, go to the, if you look at the total raw resources, in comparison, the advanced circuits take 2 iron, 5 copper, and 2 plastic. In the processing units, need 24 iron, 40 copper, and 4 plastic, and 0.5 sulfuric acid. They are immensely expensive. And look, the electronic circuits I already had here have been used up in just making a dozen. Um, <coughs> so this thing is not going to be running at full pelt for a very long time, for a number of reasons. One, it's so expensive, but two, um, our electronic circuit production is not going to be able to keep up. Bless <coughs> me. Oh my god, that was a sneeze and a half. Um, so, I've noticed a problem with our electronic circuit production a while ago. One thing I've noticed is iron. Uh, as you can look, see here, iron is kind of trickling into the base. Our iron gear wheel production is severely slowed as, as well as our iron uh, our main iron line and if we come in here and before when I noticed this, th these th the iron ore belts were completely empty and th there was only a couple of furnaces actually feeding into this, in fact only half of the furnaces are actually feeding iron in uh, the other half are doing nothing pretty much um, mainly because and the main reason why this is not doing so well is be purely because of these slower belts. If we had faster belts putting the iron in, the iron would get made a lot more quickly and these furnaces will not be sitting idle. So this is one of the reasons why we need to get onto those large, those faster belts. The other reason is because, well, aside from the fact of the iron, the copper is also having trouble getting from this production line here to the electronic circuits here. Um, if we have full iron, you can see this easily. In fact, on the left, you can see this just just as fun, right? This, these four assembly machines have enough iron to produce the electronic circuits, but they don't have enough copper because these two machines down here are grabbing all the copper before these ones up here. Despite the fact that these things are that these machines are producing more than enough copper wire for the electronic circuits, it's not getting there fast enough, which is a problem. Now, as a test, let us increase the speed of this, just to show you what I mean, and please let this work. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be very, very unhappy. 
Although the, the 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 iron problem might be affecting this as well. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Here. Oh, I'll also need a splitter, which I should have. There we go. Now look. <coughs> now look at it. All four of them have more than enough copper wire, and they sped up so much that the iron ran out. <laughs> um, so yeah, because uh, these belts are so much faster and they deliver items so much more quickly, and that was our main problem. Um, so once we're able to do that to the entire base, uh, production should increase. However, our smelting setup is also becoming kind of inadequate. We, we're going to be addressing that in the later episode. In the meantime, we do have a little problem when it comes to product, uh, adding stuff to our base, and that is we can't because we've run out of room again. So we're going to have to go out and clear some of these aliens out. This base here is going to have to go. It's been co bothering us constantly. I've been holding off on it, mainly because uh, the trees in the area. Uh, I've been making it more difficult, and I wanted to buff up our turrets a bit more. We have upgraded the turrets a bit more, so they should do a bit more damage. Um, so I'm going to take out this base, and this one down here are both going to go. This one up here is also a little bit too close for comfort. Not at the moment, but when I expand the walls out, it will be. And this one is just happens to be right in the firing line, so I'm going to get rid of that one too. Uh, so give me a little while, I'm going to get set up, I'm going to get some stuff together. Get some turrets, get some guns, get some capsules, get some walls, and we're going to go ham on these aliens. Alright, just a little update. Uh, I have installed a whole bunch of these uh, fast transport belts, and I've put them all the way along the, the, <coughs> the iron gear wheel line, just to try and help that along, as well as the iron. Um, and I've even put the iron all the way back to the iron mine. Uh, I'll upgrade them with the faster belts, and it has increased our iron throughput. It's putting the mine under a lot of pressure, um, but this is the fastest we can basically get the iron going through at the moment. Now, again, not all the furnaces are firing, but most of them are, which is good. But as you can tell, even with the faster belts, we are still not producing enough iron. Uh, we've got plenty of copper, and I think that may be because the belt is consistently full. Um, because of all the chests, because we buffered it all up. If we'd done the same with the iron, we might not have this problem. But we would be using it faster than we currently are. And we've mined up, for some reason, we've mined up more copper than we have iron. Uh, and iron is the one thing that's really holding us back, so we're going to have to address that pretty soon. Um, however, something I have done is I finished researching the alien technology thing. Um, which means that we can finally make the alien science pack. Um, every, for every, one of the, every alien artifact, you get ten, uh, ten alien science packs, and I am putting 750 of these artifacts in here. So that is going to be a total of about 7,500 science packs, which is going to do us for a long time, I think. Probably, it's probably more than we actually need in the game. But, there we go. And we're starting to churn them out. Excellent. And that's going to get fed right back into this system. I do have a chest, chest set to buffer them up. Are they limited? They are limited. Excellent. So they're going to filter their way through. And what we're going to do is we're going to research laser damage. It's because uh, right now our laser turrets they do 8 damage so that's 5 base damage plus 3 from upgrades but we're gonna basically max these out now. Before I go kill the aliens I'm going to max out their damage I'm going to upgrade it to the most I can get and we needed the alien science pack for that so that will increase it by 20% which means it'll bring it up to about 9 I think and then the next one 40% which will bring it up to 11 I think take it to 11 <laughs> so there we go we're gonna be researching that I just hope but I think the alien science packs will be made 
at enough speed, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah! So we are now research researching top tier st level stuff now, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna sit and upgrade these turrets, and I'll be back with you when we're ready to do some damage. This time. I promise. Okay, I think we're ready to go whack some aliens. Um, I'm just gonna fix up this wall here really quickly because they've been hammering it. Uh, just need a little bit here to make sure they don't break through. And yeah, that'll do. Um, before I venture out there, I'm gonna slap some turrets down on this side of the wall again. What's this? Oh. I think, honestly, I think the autosave just waits for me to start recording before <laughs> doing anything. Um, so, I'm going to put a few of these guys down. Come on guys, save me. There we go. So I'm just going to put a few of these guys to help cover me. Because I'm venturing outside the wall here. Um, but as I said before, the biggest problem I've got with clearing out this base down here <coughs> is all these trees. Um, which I'm going to have to try and get rid of. I'm going to basically just make little outpost things again just to cover me a little bit more uh, I should have let's just put that down so I can get some light there we go I've taken care of those guys pretty well um, so trees now this upgraded speed shotgun should be able to just mince right through these trees there we go and if some aliens come in like that, I'll just run back. Let the turrets take care of them. See, even the medium guys are no match for these turrets now. It's just the large ones I really need to worry about. Let's get another thing down here. So yeah, I just need to clear out a whole bunch of these trees and then I'll be able to start making a wall down. I wonder if I can take on some of the bigger aliens with this with this gun. Oh, that was kinda half me, half turret there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and clear out a path of this in these trees and I'll be back with you once we have a wall set up. Okay, we're making some headway here. I've got uh, I've got a couple of walls set up and oh, zoomed in a bit too much there. Uh, so we should be able to start taking out this entire base because we're kind of directly in the fire line from it and we've good enough trees. Um, however, I'm going to try and use these poison capsule things and I'm going to try and put them either in front of or on top of the alien base here to see if it will start uh, whittling down the enemy forces before they even make it to the turrets. Um, the only problem is I might die doing it. Uh, but we're going to give it a go anyway. We've got a bit of a throwing range to these so Let's just spam them down and then run away very quickly. Okay, now is that really hurting them? It's hurting them a bit. But it's not really hurting the bases. I really wish it would hurt, hurt the bases. Oh well. Um, okay, well, let's just uh, carry on and put some walls up instead. So I'm going to try and take out this, as much of this base as I can. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera this time because uh, nothing much has changed from the last time. So I don't think you're going to see me endlessly just running running away every time I get hit. Pretty much is what I'm doing. <laughs> Hope you don't mind the mess. One of the only really bad things about taking out these alien bases in this way is all the bloody corpses everywhere. There was like thousands of them just sitting around here a short while ago. Uh, must have despawned very quickly. Just taking out the last couple of bases by hand. Oh, okay, almost dead. By hand wasn't a good idea. Basically, I'm almost out of turrets. So, just wanted to make sure <laughs> I took out of it, although this entire base uh, but they're having to harvest more of the stuff back. Although we're getting attacked from the other base further south now. Come on! Oh no, I died! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just, that was the last bloody base despawned. <laughs> or died, or yes, I died. Okay. Okay, well, I'd saved not too long ago, so I'll reload that. 
I'll finish it off, and I'll take care of another alien base. Ugh. Okay, so that base down to the bottom right has been completely eradicated. So we just need to take care of this base here and this one here, and then we'll be free to expand again. Um, I also learnt something interesting about these poison capsules. They do something I've wanted something to do for ages. They get rid of a group of trees. Just wait for it. Boop! It kills trees! I so could have done th with this a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> especially when I was getting... I wonder, does this hurt me? Oh yeah, that hurts me. Um, but yeah, when I was trying to establish some turret walls and stuff, I needed to clear things, a few things out of the way. Like, I'm going to have to do up here. Bit of an expensive approach to clearing trees. But I'm pretty sure the aliens won't mind. And I'm being attacked. One of our, the main problems I'm having right now in all these attacks it's not the firepower, it's my defense. I die so freaking quickly. <coughs> Bless me, that was a powerful one. Um, yeah, I die so quickly. I mean, the this armor is only really decent against like the medium guys, but most of the guys we're up against are large. So, we're not really in a position where we're able to defend ourselves. So we need to start working on uh, better armor, I think. In fact, can we just move this... Oh yeah, we can totally get over here. And start building up. Oh, I'm on the wrong bar. There we go. Right. Well, I'm going to carry on and take out these bases, and I wish we'll be back with you in a little while. Well, there we go. Another enemy base cleared out. This is the one in the top right. <coughs> um, I'm going to leave this one here for now. It's far enough away where I don't think it's going to be a problem, even if we expand. And uh, this one here... Actually, uh, it went back further than I thought. This was the edge of the map before. And uh, I thought the alien base was only to here, but I kept on going. And just as not to tempt fate, and because I was running out of turrets, I decided to stop short uh, b before going back. But we've got a ton of alien artifacts. Um, well, I dumped a lot of them back in the back at base before I came out here. Um, but I think it's like another thousand or so altogether, probably including these ones here. So we are set up for alien artifacts for quite some time, and uh, now that so we've got plenty of. Uh, let's think. If we've got an, that's over ten thousand research packs, uh, alien research packs. So we are pretty much sorted on the uh, the high tier tech front. Speaking of which, we should research something. Um, my laser turrets are now completely upgraded down here. So they are. I can't upgrade these anymore. Uh, it took some time to get these actually because they're like top. Those were top tier upgrades, but each one does uh, 11 damage, and it's got pretty fast shooting speed. So these things are pretty awesome. Uh, I might do the same with the regular gun turrets. You never know. Um, but in terms of research, something we should probably research now. Oh, we could do military and get the piercing shotgun shells which will increase our damage significantly with our shotgun making it the most powerful weapon in the game uh, and could upgrade the shotgun. I did upgrade the damage a little bit um, could do that however there's a couple of technologies we need to research uh, these are like stepping stones things but one of the most important ones is modules um, there's a lot to do with modules, uh, which we'll be doing later on in the game, but we also need the the top tier modules for making rocket defense. We are starting to kind of get our preparation. In fact, let's have a little look. So for our rocket defense, we need 100 rockets, 150 advanced circuits, 100 processing units, and lots of speed modules and productivity modules. Sounds bizarre. But 
two of those two of those five things we are actually actively researching uh, actively creating so we need three more and then we can do the rocket defense but we're not going to do it just yet well obviously not because we've got a long way to go um but we are going to research modules and the main reason I want to do modules is because Armor Crafting 3. As I mentioned earlier, our defense is the main thing holding us back when it comes to engaging the enemy. We've got the firepower uh, in terms of turrets and we're getting some weapons which are capable of dealing a lot of damage, but we need the defense. And in order to get the arm, uh, a better defense, like this one, basic modular armor. We're going to look into that hopefully next episode. Um, bas basically, our armor is about to get very, very interesting. Uh, but we need modules to do it. So, I am going to continue researching that. I'm going to pick up all these artifacts, repair these turrets, take them down, and head back to base. And in the meantime, I shall see you in the next episode. So, take care. Goodbye.